Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sarina Beauty, and today we will talk about destiny and what it means to actually follow it. You see, each and every one of us is given a task. It, we've been given, we've been gifted actually, with a role in our in this world, in this vast universe that only we can play. And people that are brave enough to follow their destiny, their inner calling, they are the ones that really make it. And their their success is celebrated for like generations and generations to come because their calling was high, but then so was their test and then they also followed it. You see, and we all are destined for greatness. And greatness can be measured in many things. You could have influenced a child and that is the greatest thing that you would have you were meant to do and you could also go ahead and be like Shakespeare turn out to be the most amazing playwright of this not even the century like in history of humankind and that is only because these people followed their destiny they followed their inner calling because what they felt in the in their bones was like so greater that they had and, and just the calling was so like intense that they had no choice but to follow it and you see we all have that we just don't listen to ourselves we don't listen to our hearts and that's why there's so much suffering we don't listen to who we're meant to be we give in to like societal pressures we give in to like what are people gonna say we give in to the matrix and the biggest we give in to our own fears we feel like we won't be good enough to achieve our, our biggest dreams. But you see, your biggest dreams are the things that you're actually meant to do. That's why they're placed in your heart. That's why they're there, because they're meant to be achieved. They're meant to be acted upon. And if you don't, it's going to drain your energy. It's going to make you feel like you're going against the flow of life. And that could literally be in, in so many different things. And the thing is, like, our destiny is always given to us one at a time. Like, first, you might have the nudge to not eat red meat. Then, you don't want to eat chicken. Then, you don't want to eat seafood. Then, you become a vegetarian. Then, you become a vegan. And then, you go on to becoming the most amazing vegan chef in the world. Where celebrities and people of, like, high status, like, they want to come talk to you. They're like, wow, teach this to the world. And do you see what you did? You followed your calling of not wanting to eat red meat and then not wanting to eat chicken and then not wanting to eat. So imagine, imagine what we can do if we all just follow that calling. Imagine what you can do if you actually like, like ask that girl out. That woman might be the key to your destiny and you don't even know. Or that man might help you in like ways that no one ever has. And show you a love, but it's like you're afraid and you're not following your destiny. And you see, not everybody's even meant to. To be honest with you, like if you don't follow your inner calling, guess what? It's going to go to someone else. It really will. Because that's just how it works. Like what the world deserves, it will get. So maybe if it wasn't Shakespeare, someone else from like China or India or... Somewhere else would have written the story of Romeo and Juliet and you know what they have But it's like all the credit goes to Shakespeare. Maybe because he was the first one to do it. I really don't know, but it's like The world will get what it wants What it needs it will always 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 get what it needs in the form of philosophers and actors and dancers and playwrights and storytellers that are meant to influence the world. But I'm here to tell you that you might be one of those people. And essentially we all are. That's why we're here on earth to improve and raise the vibration. But this really depends on you. Will you, will you answer the calling? Will you answer the calling by leaving that toxic relationship? And finding your true self and then coming into your full power and activating all these gifts that you didn't even know you had like will you be willing to leave medical school and go to acting school because that is your true passion 
or will you be willing to apply for medical school even if you think you can't get in because you really want to help people you really want to be a doctor but these are all like our choices you know yes destiny is something that is there but you are the one who has to fulfill it god has written your destiny now it's on you are you going to make are you going to take the choices that are good for you are you going to like follow the nudges that are being shown that are being given you know it it's all your choice to follow your test to follow your destiny is your choice and if you do follow it it becomes your fate that's what it is so i wrote something in um um i wrote a poem for slap that i would like to share in hopes that it will inspire you all to follow that niggle that you're getting that that push that little feeling in your heart like man i should do that i should pick up my tarot deck i should pick up you know i should pick up chinese i should pick up arabic i should like publish my book i should write that article whatever it is it's meant to be that's why it's that's why it's screaming it's showing it's it's pushing you towards it okay let's get started <laughs> Allow God to work through you so that you can become what you are destined to be. Allow your heart to follow your dreams so you can manifest and achieve the only role you can play and then call it your destiny. Slap is available on my website. Free shipping all over United States. And I oh don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and I will talk to you later. Swoop.